So how would you go about resizing the canvas of an Affinity Photo for iPad document? There's one simple way to do this, and that's where we come to the file menu and hit resize. And at the bottom of the screen, we see a, a palette window open up. So right now we're in the document mode. We actually want to select, we want to resize not the document, but rather the canvas. But I want you to look at something before we move on. And that's if we select document here, and what it will do is it will resize and resample the document based on certain, certain uh, mathematical principles. We don't want to do that. We only want to resize the canvas of the document, which would be the entire space. That's this space right here. We want to, in, we want to not just lar enlarge in this, we actually want to make the space that's above this and below this much bigger than it is so that we have a much bigger working area that we can work from. So let's go back to resize. And now we want to select canvas. All right, so now that we've selected our canvas, uh, we have to look at width and, and height. So the thing that I want to do is I want to increase the height of this document. However, if I hit the aspect ratio, what that does is it locks, locks these two values together, width and height, to be the same. Uh, so that it, 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 it increases the size of the document and increases the width and the height at the same time. We don't want to do that. We only want to increase the size of the height. So we deselect aspect ratio and make sure that it's unlocked. And now there are two ways to do this. One is I can click, hold, and drag and pull up or pull down. And notice, you'll notice that the height value is changing. Or I can do this mathematically, or I'm sorry, not mathematically, numerically, is I can get rid of all those values and just enter, sorry, not 9, but 16. Let's get rid of that and hit OK. We're almost done. So we, we have two things to do. One, we want to verify that we're in inches and not in pixels, and that would be the units. So yes, we are in inches. Good. And no, not, not feet. We want inches. Good. And then we have one more thing to do, and that's to select the anchor point. Now, it's already selected for us, but we just want to make sure. Usually when this, is, this palette comes up, it's in this, this configuration. What, it, what, it, what the anchor point is telling you is where the, the image will be enlarged or de... Or I'm sorry, not the image. The canvas will be enlarged or decreased from. So in this case, we want it directly from the center of the document. So we're all set and ready to go, and now we hit apply. And magically we have increased the canvas size of our document. So you're going to ask, Miles, why am I increasing the, the canvas size of our, of our document? Well, the, the really simple, with, simple answer that I can possibly come up with is that I like to have more working space when I'm working, working on a document, and this is one way to accomplish that goal. Instead of having to resize the elements on the screen to fit the available space, I want to resize the canvas as a whole. There you go. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate your time, your patience, and your patronage. If you like this stuff, you find it useful, you find it informative, please hit the like button. And right next to that is the subscribe button to subscribe to all the content on this channel and a whole lot more that's coming, which reminds me, please hit the notifications bell to be notified every single time I upload new content. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day, and I look forward to seeing you somewhere down the road. Bye.